there, what's up? Welcome back to JR Sneaker Show. I am JR, and today we're gonna be taking a look at the best Air Jordan 1 of all time. Hands down. The best Jordan of all time. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, today, we're gonna be talking about the Air Jordan 1. Put your ones up, people. Put your ones up. So, this Air Jordan 1 debuted in the, uh, the second half of Jordan's rookie season. Uh, he came out with these uh, later on in the year. And um, these are the black and red colorway. The breads, the bands, whatever you wanna call it. So, back in 1985, uh, the NBA actually so-called ban these sneakers they said that they had too much black there's a letter going around from the nba commissioner that said hey you know these cannot be worn by michael jordan if you continue to wear these we're gonna find you five g's every game and nike was like no brainer we'll pick that up we'll pay that bill and that turned out to be some of the best advertising that could have happened for the sneaker. So Michael Jordan came out, he wore them, uh, laced them up. Back then, you know, a black and red sneaker was just uncommon, it was unheard of. Like all the sneakers in the NBA were just white. White and maybe like whatever the color was, but a black and red Jordan to come out, unheard of. Never been done before, never been seen before. People didn't even know what to expect. People didn't even like, what are those? What are those? Is what people were saying. And, and, and Michael Jordan, man, I don't even think he wanted to wear them because he was coming from like Carolina and North Carolina and he was wearing baby blue and white. And then all of a sudden, what? Black and red? What is this? Like, I've heard, you know, some, some, some talks that he was just like not even cool with that shoe, but it was a bull's colorway. It was black and red. So MJ had to get down with the breads. So now today we call them the breads back then they were just the, the 1985 air jordan ones um the, the ogs you know they didn't even call them that they were just like the jordan ones the air jordan ones um and nowadays we call them you know jordan ones we call them the bread ones uh the band ones um whatever you want to call it doesn't matter best sneaker of all time in my opinion so I actually got my hands on these a little while back, maybe about a year ago, a couple years ago. It's the 2016 pair, and these released uh, back in 2016. They retroed them. These have been retro multiple years since 1985. And um, but man, if you can get your hands on a pair of 1985 ones, like the real deal ones, those can go for a grip. You can get those on um, on like on eBay. Uh, some beat ones, man. Like the paint's missing. They're all beat up and falling apart. And you still pay like three grand, $2,500 for a pair of those. Um, brand new dead stock, they'll still be falling apart, unwearable, um, probably like 10 Gs. So, you know, um, if I can ever get my hands on those, um, one day um, I'll get my hands on a pair of those. That way I can show you guys. Uh, but for now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and review the 2016 pair. And I think personally, these are the best. I mean, these have the best leather. Um, these uh, these started to glitter, uh, and I'll get more into that in a little bit. Um, there was like a little bit of glitter going on, so you know. But I'll, I'll get more into that in a little while. But without further ado, let's get right into the sneaker because I know that's what you came for. Here's the box right here. So it comes in a Nike OG box. These are a size 10 and a half. Black Varsity Red uh, is the colorway. Black Varsity Red White uh, Air Jordan One Retro High OG. Uh, the style is 555-088-001. And these are in a 10 and a half. These, uh, when these came out, these were going for 160. Um, if you get them on StockX right now, brand new pair, just like this, uh, they could go up for like $700, $800, just depending on what size you go. Um, last time I checked, I think it was like 680 um, for a pair in this for this size right here, 10 and a half. But like I said, it, it, it's like a sneaker market, it, a stock market for sneakers. It goes up and it goes down. So you always want to be on the lookout, uh, looking at StockX, and when they drop, man, get them. You know, um, and, and that's what I did. I, I was on the lookout for these. I paid a little over retail, but I didn't pay too much over retail. I definitely didn't pay what they're going for right now. Um, 
man, as much as I like these shoes, I I could not see myself dropping, I don't know, $800, $900 on these things. You know, that's a couple car payments for me and uh, almost a house payment. So I'm just like, uh, no. <laughs> well, all right, without further ado, let's get right into the sneaker and go ahead and open it up. So these I have worn um, quite a few times. I just wanted to show them to you before they get too beat. Um, so here you just got the Nike box right here, OG. Um, nothing special. So, and then right here, I got the sneakers. So, right there, 1985. So I went ahead and unlaced one for you, that way it can be kind of dead stock, you know, because this, just so I can show you how they come. So this is how they come right here, they come um, dead stock, and dead stock, if you don't know what that means, that's uh, uh, pretty much crisp, pristine, brand new, it, out, straight out the box, never been worn, um, dead stock. And so, check out that Nike right there too, this is just blinging and blind, it's shining right there, it's, uh, it's pretty cool, it's like an orange colorway, um, just picked this up, got this for like 10 bucks, so. Um, always looking out for them steals and deals, you know? So check this out. So here, back into it, um, you got the, the, what do you, so what do you want to call these? You call them the bands, you call them the breads, um, what is it going to be? Thumbnail. Go long. Low. So yeah, so right here, so this is a ten and a half color, uh, size, and you can see right there, and then you can get the leather. Um, like I said, I unlaced them for you guys so that way you can kind of see um, how they come brand new. And um, you can see inside there it says Nike Air. So right there, that's one of my pet peeves right there. I always tape up the insides where it says Nike Air. Um, that way if I ever, uh, you know, that way I can always see that Nike Air when I put them on. Um, so I just use box tape um, and I just stick it down in there and then you can see um, it keeps them fresh and clean and then that doesn't rub off. So. Um, there's the bottoms right there. Like I said, I've worn these cup quite a few times, but they still smell dead stock, you know? I've only worn them maybe a handful of times. I would say 10 times at the most, you know? Um, this is one of those sneakers that it's just, I don't like to bust it out all the time. It's just, you know, it's probably the coolest sneaker in my collection. This is what started it all. And I feel like, uh, you know, this one right here is the best uh, retro ever. I mean, this one, and I'll, I'll get into why I think that. So I'm gonna stop saying that, but I'm gonna get right into it and show you the sneakers. So this is pretty cool. I picked up this uh, this Newsweek. Um, I forgot when I picked this up. This was a while back too. Um, but I picked this up at Walmart. And uh, what it, what's cool about it is it has all these, uh, you know, these, these moments from back in the day. Um, just really cool. You can see right there, there's the when he jumped from the free throw. Um, all the donks and stuff like that. I know I'm going backwards on it, but um, it's because I'm holding it with my, uh, hold them, uh, my phone with my right hand. And here's a lot of his cards and stuff right there. But let me go, let me see if I can find uh, the page right here with the sneakers. So right there. So gotta be the shoes. So right here you can see, um, Right here, black varsity red. During the second half of his rookie season, Jordan debuted his brand new signature sneaker. He also averaged 28 points per game and made his first all-star appearance. The Jordan is were originally released in nine colorways, including three Bulls themed designs. So that was one of them right there. You got the uh, the black toe and then the Chicago. And then, uh, but yeah, but man, I can't wait till they can release uh, this one right here, this uh, the cherry cherry twelves, and these are supposed to be coming out this year. The flint, the French blue. Um, it's funny they call them French blue in here. Um, a lot of people call them flints, and so, but it looks like originally it's a French blue uh, thirteen. So, you know the gammas right there. And those are cool too. The Olympics and uh, some pretty pretty cool colorways in here. So, you know, hopefully they uh, they go ahead and retro some of those this year. So anyway, that's a cool magazine. I picked this up. Um, thought it'd be a collector's item, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to that. Um, let me see what's up. So without further ado, check this out. So I'm gonna get right into it and just jump right into the sneaker. So this is it right here. Um, like I said, I unlaced it for you guys so that way you can see 
kind of what it looks like when it would come out the box. Um, a lot of people were running into um, glitter, a lot of glitter right here. And and I've everybody's posted it. Jumpman Bostic, Rich's Kicks. Um, everybody's got hit by the glitter monster. And I did too. I did too at one point. But what I found out was that when I took the paper out of the box, um, that the glitter started going away. Another thing too is what well, people tripped out is I actually posted, um, I think it was on Scholar23. I follow him on Instagram and I also follow uh, Mike Rich, but I, I actually hit it with some of this disinfecting wipes right here. This is, uh, you know, this is the generic brand. Got this one in Walgreens, but it's pretty much a, uh, a just a Clorox wipe, multi-purpose wipe. I mean, there's no bleach in there or anything, but I just went ahead and hit him with that a while back. And I haven't, honestly, I haven't even pulled these out the box and, um, and it had to have been at least six months since I worn these. So, um, but I just wanted to pull them out and do a review because I've never done a review on these. And I was just like, you know, with the new breads coming out, the reverse breads coming out this weekend, um, I just thought it'd be a good idea to go ahead and post these up. But check out that leather quality. Um, you can see it's red. It's it's really tumbled. You know, a lot of people, um, they love it or hate it. You know, it's one of those things because the original Jordan ones, um, the band ones or bread ones, whatever you want to call it, um, they didn't have that tumbled leather right there. And this one has it on the on the toe box which is like super tumbled and then see this one's laced up and then you got it right here just super tumbled leather really soft too i mean if you can get into that and just kind of see like how squishy that is it's really really squishy um and i got one that's laced up and one that's had leather so and then you got this then you got that basic leather on the side right here i mean this is this is good leather, but it's not like, um, not like anything crazy. I mean, a lot of people, you know, don't realize that, you know, back in the day when these came out, they weren't tumbled leather like this. Um, they were just like regular, regular stiff leather, um, which was good. I mean, it, it held up over time and they were great for basketball. And actually the reverse breads that they're releasing this weekend are going to go back to that old school leather, um, that these originally had. And you can see, um. Uh, Super, super tumbled, super soft. Got a little, a little daughter stain right there. So, but like I said, I've worn these a few times, but um, not too much, you know. Not on, not all the time. When you see the kind of crease right there, um, really padded, really padded. And right there, you see that these are size ten and a half, um, 84, 10, 18 X. So, uh, 10, 18, 84. So these are uh, so. Originally when the um, the Air Jordan 1 um, You know came out it was a prototype um, 1984 is when they actually made them and then um, You know they actually released in um, 1985 so the Air Jordan 1 it's uh, one of the most important sneakers in, in my opinion to ever release and um, You know it, it kicked off the most successful signature line of all time the, the Jordans, you know, and so um you know, from, you know, I, I think uh, the guy's name was uh, Moore, who uh, who actually made these. Um, and, you know, he um, he ended up making these. And then um, after that, you know, he didn't make any more. Then the twos came out and then, you know, Tinker Hatfield took it from there. And so, um, but I, I just think this is a really, really, really comfortable shoe. And even on feet, I mean, these are just stylish. You know, you can see the bottoms right there. Pretty, pretty dead stock. Um, like I said, I mean, I wear these, but I mean, I don't wear them too often. And uh, But I'm gonna start wearing them more often. I, I really do. I feel like if I can get my hands on those reverse breads, um, that'll be cool too, but we'll see. Those are going for like ridiculous prices right now on StockX, like a thousand bucks, which, I mean, hey, if you got the money, you know, go ahead and get them. But um, me, I'm gonna try and get them for retail and, uh, you know, see what happens. If I do get them for retail, I'll go ahead and uh, throw up a review and uh, let you see what they look like on hand. Um, so yeah, so these, just want to do a, a quick review on these. Um, and you can see these are just, like I said, these are really cool, really, really good quality. So. All right, well, thank you everybody for coming and taking a look at JR Sneaker Show. I hope you like what you saw. If you did, please go ahead and hit that uh, like button. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe. 
and go ahead and ring the bell for uh, future notifications. That way you can see my videos as I post them up real life. Um, so you guys, God bless you. Thanks for stopping by and I'm out. Peace.